All right, so I got my tent in today. It's made in Colorado. It was the last tent the company had. They text or emailed me and told me um, it's going to be two plus months before they have any more to sell. So I got kind of a cool little story to tell when I go to the motorcycle rally. And when people are like, oh, cool tent, man. I can say, yeah, it's got a little bit of a history to it. So that's the company emblem. It's kind of cool. I didn't realize it from previous pictures on the internet, but it goes all the way through. There's a zipper door and a flap on the other side, too. Screen, um, screen on both ends. So you can get a, a cross flow of wind going through uh, for cooling, which is super good. Um, actually, I haven't even crawled in yet. So there's total good space in here. Totally good. So um, I'll have to get a pad for the bottom. And not a big deal. I think I got one up there. I've got um, some wool blank wool blankets. I'll just use that, and it rolls up into a tiny little little roll. Oh, and I got my um, um, sissy bar in. I need to figure out a way to make this stay, this stay right here, up to the top, because that way it'll be, you know, the tent will be taller, and uh, it'll take some of this sag. <laughs> That's a terrible video. Some of the sag out in here. If I can, if I can get it to go to the top of the uh, of the city bar, it'll make it taller. So I need to figure out a way to do that up here, uh, up in this area, so it stays up here. So brainstorm with me. Give me suggestions on how to do that. And these up here are adjustable. All these straps are adjustable. So uh, you just kind of find where it kind of makes it fit the best. And of course, on the concrete, I can't put the tents, stakes in that come with it. So anyway, cool. It should be really cool. And then if this doesn't work, if it's all like uh, big rocks and whatever, I've got a, a hammock that I can, I'll bring as well. So I'll have an in the air option and an on the ground option, depending on weather and ground conditions.